And Katie's back. What a morning it's been. No kidding. Yeah, I mean, we got by without any major problems this morning. Nothing had really shown up until 9 a.m. I mean, yeah. it came right on cue for everyone, really. But now that it's here, it's causing issues, as we've seen. And we're stuck with this now, guys, right through the rest of the day, right through the rest of the night, and actually even into very early tomorrow morning. So it's a prolonged event in that regard. But we'll start things off actually by taking you back outside. We'll show you another view here from the CBS 3 Mobile Weather Watcher, where, yeah, I mean, visibility is not great. Great guys, this is a live look for you in Center City, but I would say that this is a similar view as what you're finding anywhere that you travel at this point because no kind of mixing has taken place yet. It will with time, but at this point it is all snow all the time everywhere. And uh, yeah, not just from the CBS 3 Mobile Weather Watcher, from every vehicle you'll have a similar view like that. Now here's the storm in its entirety. I can't say that it looks as pretty nor as organized as it did earlier this morning. I mean, it was a classic, beautifully organized storm system. It's still a huge system and it still has quite a bit of organization, but we're starting to see a little bit more of a spreading out of that comma shape going on. Here's your trailing cold front warm front lifting in we are going to sit in the warm sector of this storm system okay and that's the reason that temperatures climb and therefore allows any of that snow to eventually mix with some sleet and or freezing rain and eventually change over to plain rain so at this point, again, all snow, it's still too cold for anything but plain rain or uh, but plain snow, I should say. And we are going to start to see that changeover take place with time later on this afternoon. So it's a mess out there this afternoon, and it's understandable that the school districts just preemptively closed down for the day. You don't want to be out in this if you don't have to be in really poor visibility. You can barely make out what's past the uh, Franklin Institute here. This is a live look from Central Parkway Library, so poor visibility certainly treacherous travel when it comes to that snow coming down. But if you're able to just hang out in the backyard with the kids, build a snowman and uh, do a little bit of sledding, then it's perfect weather for that. But trying to get around in this, not ideal. Let me time this out for you in a little bit more detail. So moving forward here, we get you into the mid-afternoon, at which point we'll probably still have majority of the region enveloped in snow. But that's when we start to see those temperatures climbing just high enough that we're seeing a little bit of a mixing taking place here. Over to some sleet, over to some rain, some of that rain could still freeze on contact and certainly with the snow that's already fallen, you will encounter slick travel even if it's all green by 7 p.m. I still worry through Millville, through all of the rest of South Jersey and Delaware that if you had snow that had previously fallen, it may still be very slick and certainly that's the case anywhere that pink shows up on the radar in the next couple of hours here and later into tonight. But that warmth all the while is building in. So we should be climbing through the 40s through the rest of the night here, and then it does turn over to plain rain. And by tomorrow afternoon, we're sitting pretty in the 50s as skies are beginning to clear. So it is a big mess with an OK payoff in uh, the back end of this. So here's that timeline in bullet point format for you. Through mid afternoon, that snow is just going to keep on falling heavily at times, no less. And that's how we're going to rack up those several inches worth of accumulation. Later on today, though, and through this evening, though, that changeover to a wintry mix is going on from south to north. And then through the overnight, everyone's transitioning over to rain. Even if you don't have it uh, for a prolonged period of time, we all see that transition. How much snow? Haven't really changed the expectation, but we'll likely end up on the higher end of this two to four inch swath through the rest of Delco, through Philadelphia County. And still, the expectation is up to a half a foot for the folks out in those western counties. Now, if you are not jazzed about this cold air, I've got better news for you. Warmer air is waiting in the wings for us, especially this upcoming weekend. Of course, it's got to come with a storm system, but it's a nice warming trend that will get underway here. The weekend looks like it's just a rain producer, but Saturday afternoon into Sunday, rain is moving through, so not ideal if you had out your plans. Really, the only dry window I can promise you is a Saturday morning. However, let me step out of the way. Check this out. Sunday, 65 degrees. Yeah, yeah, Jim loves it. So you have to deal with rain, obviously, but that's going to feel like a nice little taste of spring compared to what's going on out there right now. Stay there. We're coming right back.